The governor of Vermont has vetoed a bill in the city of Burlington that would have made it illegal for landlords to evict tenants. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing in Landlord News. All right, so I have an interesting topic for you today, and it's actually a good story for landlords up in the state of Vermont, and specifically in the city of Burlington. Now, obviously, I have covered the, the uh, good cause eviction laws that they've been trying to pass up in places like New York for the last few months. And, you know, I think this is a real threat to landlords, and they're trying to spread these laws all throughout the country. So up in Vermont, the city of Burlington actually had a good cause eviction law proposed, and they passed it. But fortunately, the governor stepped in and stood up for landlords, stood up for property rights and said, hey, I'm going to veto this because this is garbage. This is taking away the rights of the landlords, the rights of property owners to do what they see fit with their properties. OK, and I agree with them. I'm glad that the governor did this. But the scary part is that Vermont is a very, you know, it, it's going left. It's, it's a very left leaning place. I mean, I believe Bernie Sanders is from there and he's obviously one of the biggest socialist in the entire country. So it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, they somehow got this this uh, veto by the governor overridden by the state legislator. So, you know, don't don't uh, think that they're just out of the woods yet, the landlords up there. But yeah, th this is good news for now, at least. OK, so before I get into the article, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, maybe leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you think that the the state legislator up in Vermont is going to override the veto of the governor and uh, pass this good cause, e allow this good cause eviction law to pass. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know how the state swings other than, you know, I, I know about Bernie Sanders. I know that, you know, there's some pretty far left leaning politicians up there. But, you know, I don't know if overall the state is more conservative, more you know, pushing for property rights or not. So, you know, if you're from that area or you know more about Vermont than I do, please feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know what you think is going to happen. So this article is coming from the Burlington Free Press, and it says, Governor Scott has rejected Burlington's attempt to limit evictions. Here's what that means. Well, good for the governor. Now, let's see what this article says about the uh, situation. Governor Phil Scott has vetoed Burlington's attempt to create a just cause eviction law, which would change Burlington's city charter to prevent landlords from evicting tenants without providing a just cause. It is now up to the Vermont legislator to decide whether or not the override uh, to override the veto, which would require a two thirds majority vote of House and Senate members. One of the bill's supporters, Burlington City Councilor Zariah Hightower, wrote in a press release that Scott's move is an ill-advised veto of this vital housing reform. Well, you know, I disagree. I think it was a good idea, and I think the governor is looking out for the property rights, especially of the landlords there in the state, okay? It's a slippery slope, and once you start passing laws like this, telling landlords, hey, you can't evict for these reasons, and you can only evict for these specific reasons, well, you know, you're, you're talking about <laughs> it's a slippery slope, you know, it's pretty simple, but, you know, what, what they said here, and this is, you know, it said it would... Um, change the city's charger to prevent landlords from evicting tenants without providing a just cause. Well, that's not exactly true. Okay, the truth of the matter is that it has to be one of the causes that they allow you to evict for. Okay, it can't be for any just cause. Okay, a uh, just cause, in my opinion, is hey, I want to sell the property and get completely out of the landlord business. Okay, and I'm going to sell it to an owner occupant, but I can't sell it with a tenant inside of it. So if the tenant's lease is expired, then you let that tenant go and then you sell the property empty. That's what a lot of landlords do, and I don't see any problem with that. Does the former tenant, do they become displaced when that happens? Yes, okay. However, they were only in that property for as long as that contract that they agreed upon with the landlord promised, okay. So if you're in a property and you have a one-year lease, that's, that's all the landlord has to follow. The landlord doesn't have to renew your lease. They shouldn't have to, at least, in my opinion. They shouldn't have to keep you in there as long as you want to stay, 
Okay, if the landlord needs the place back, then they should have the right to get it back. And that's what the governor is saying here. And that's what these good cause eviction people are saying is wrong. So I 100% disagree with them. But let's keep going. Vermont landlords can currently evict tenants for no reason other than their lease is up for renewal. The vetoed bill H-708 would end this in Burlington, requiring that landlords provide a just cause for evicting tenants. Reasons for evictions defined by the bill as just cause include, but are not limited to, non-payment of rent, breach of a written rental agreement, property damage, behavior that affects the safety of other tenants or criminal activity. So th those are the reasons right there. And none of that said, hey, um, I want to take the property and then use it for a different purpose. None of that says I want to, um, you know, the tenant to leave so that I can sell the property or do major repairs to the property that are necessary. None of that, okay? They came up with just a few small reasons and then they say, well, you just have to deal with it. So imagine here you are, okay, you're a small landlord like me. You own one single family house. You have a tenant in there and they have this just cause eviction law in place, right? You say to yourself, hey, I am suffering financially. I'm losing money every month I own this property because you know, the tenant's rent doesn't cover the mortgage. So I just need to sell it. I need to sell it, you know, get that tenant out of there and uh, that way I'll be back on my feet financially, right? But the city of Burlington comes up and they say, no, nope, no, you cannot sell the property. You have to keep that tenant in this property, you know, and uh, you, you n never can get rid of it. That tenant has to stay. Well, what, what are you supposed to do? Now, I, I realize that some people will buy properties with tenants in them, you know, including single family homes. But in terms of single family homes, you usually pay a price. <coughs> Excuse me. So you usually suffer by getting lower amount of money for your property if you're trying to sell it with a tenant in it when it comes to single family homes in particular. And, you know, I mean, apartment buildings are different, but when it comes to single family, you shouldn't have to deal with this sort of nonsense. And I don't see anything in this that says that single families aren't covered, wouldn't have been covered by that law. So let's keep going in this article. And one interesting thing in this article is they actually do go down and they talk to the mayor and the mayor says, or not the mayor, but the uh, governor of Vermont. And uh, the governor actually says why he vetoed this bill. And I, I agree with uh, the reasons he says. Okay, why did Scott veto the bill? Scott said in his veto letter that he believes H-708 would make it too difficult for landlords to evict tenants. By eliminating a property owner's ability to end a lease agreement at the time of the mutually agreed upon end date within a lease, this just cause eviction law effectively creates the potential for perpetual tenancy, undermining private property rights and a foundational principle of choosing to rent your property, Scott said. So he brings up absolutely great points, okay? These, this could create a perpetual tenancy where you just basically can never get rid of this tenant, okay? Your contract that you signed with that tenant, that lease agreement, suddenly it's useless. You might as well just throw it out the door because the government now would have been in charge of when the tenant, you know, the government and the tenant basically have more property rights and you, know, you are just stuck with them forever, okay? and there's nothing you can do about it. So what would the, this kind of situation create? It would create a situation where a lot of people, they don't wanna be landlords, okay? They would sell their properties or they would never rent them out in the first place. So, you know, they're, they're trying to come up to, with a solution for people becoming homeless, et cetera, and they're actually, by trying to pass laws like this, they decrease the number of rentals out there. They decrease the amount of affordable housing out there. They make landlords have to charge higher rents just in case you know somebody get, gets in their unit and doesn't want to leave. Okay, I mean they they really are hurting themselves and they're hurting the tenants on top of that. Okay, and they don't even realize how bad it is. So, you know, I, I believe strongly in property rights. I do, right? And I just will not ever agree that these good cause eviction laws are the right way to go. 
Why does this matter? Landlords provided no cause for evicting 50% of all tenants in Lamoille and Windsor counties in 2021, according to the nonprofit Vermont Legal Aid, who surveyed these counties as indicators of Vermont as a whole. Our experience has been that landlords are ending tenancies to sell the buildings or raise the rent, wrote Gene Murray of Vermont Legal Aid. And they're probably right, okay? Landlords are ending people's leases so that they can sell, okay? Even these advocates for tenants realize that. The other reason that they're removing tenants from their properties is so they can raise the rent, okay? If a landlord wants to raise the rent and this tenant is no longer able to afford the new higher rent, well, guess what? They've got to go, okay? They can't stay there. You cannot stay in a property where you can't afford to live there. That is ridiculous. And them trying to force landlords to do that. I mean, like I've said before, we are not affordable housing providers and we are not homeless shelters. We are for-profit businesses and we should be treated as such, okay? So yeah, good news for landlords up in Vermont. You know, I, I don't want to see these good cause eviction laws pass anywhere in the entire country.